السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My respect, respected brothers and sisters Today I'm going to share with you one important and so beautiful hadith inshallah The hadith is about Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه How he learned ayat al-kursi from shaitan This hadith has mentioned in Bukhari and Muslim Narrated from Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه He says once Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he appointed me to keep the sadaqatul fitr goods. Then at night, at first night, I noticed that someone came and he was taking some food from these goods and was leaving the place. Then I caught hold of him and told him, I will take you to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then the person requested me, oh sorry, my family members are hungry. I need to take some food. I promised I will never come back again. So let me go. Abu Ghraira radiallahu ta'ala, he was very soft-hearted man. He let him go. In the morning, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked to Abu Ghraira, Ya Abu Ghraira, ma fa'ala asiru kal bariham. Hey Abu Ghraira, what about your prisoners do you study? Then Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and his sister Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ya Allah Rasul He promised He promised that he will not come back again so I let him go Then Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says to Abu Huraira Amma innahu qadi kathaba wa sayaudu He was lying He will come back again tonight you will see Second night after Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and who he noticed that the same person came and he was taking some food and leaving the place. Then Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala who he caught hold of him and told him already you did break your promise. You can't go. I will take you to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The same way he was requested to Abu Huraira and Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala he let him go. The third day the, in the morning Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked to Abu Huraira Hey Abu Huraira, what about your prisoners do you study? Then Rasul, uh, Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala who says to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Allah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he promised he will not come back again, so I let him go. Then Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, he was lying, he will come back, again, come back again tonight, you will see. The third night, the say, Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala who he noticed that, the same person came and he was taking some food and was um, leaving the place. Then Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala he caught hold of him and told him, you can't go anymore today because already again and again you did break your promise. I'll take you to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then the person says to Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala okay, I'll teach you some good words by which you'll be benefited from Allah. And let me go, please. Then Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala who says, um, says, okay, what are they? Then he says, at night before go, um, before go to sleep, if any person decide Ayatul Kursi, then Allah will appoint a guard for him who will protect him from shaitan till morning. Then Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala who he let him go. In the morning, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked to Abu Huraira, Hey Abu Huraira, what about your prisoners do yesterday? Do you know who, who was the person? Then uh, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says again, He was the shaitan, he was shaitan. Swadaqa wa huwa kaidu. He spoke the truth, although he was he is an absolute liar. My respected brothers and sisters, we knew that the shaitan how taught ayatul kursi to Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala ankum. And most of us, we know, um, we knew the other, another hadith about ayatul kursi. The hadith says, if any person did recite ayatul kursi after every fourth salam, then to enter into Jannah, to enter into Jannah, one day his death will be left. My respect, brothers and sisters. So we should do amal on both hadith. 
and we should try to read the ayatul kursi ayatul kursi's meaning with tafsir because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in um, in the ayatul kursi his identification we need to know about that now i'm going to recite ayatul kursi inshallah أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم صدق الله العظيم May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq give us ability to do amal on this hadith and give us ability to read the ayat al-kursi's meaning read the Quran meaning and umma tawfiq illa billah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu